Hi there, Mark Costner here. In this short video, we're going to take a quick look at how to add audio to your website. Now, why would you want to add audio to your website, do you ask? Well, in today's day and age, it's getting increasingly difficult to grab your visitors' attention and to keep them on your site for longer. And one of the ways you can do that is by engaging them through audio. Imagine visiting a website where the owner of the website begins explaining a bit more about the site, telling you what you'll find there, perhaps sharing a bit of a personal story. Whatever it may be, audio gets people's attention. Now, I'm about to show you exactly how I add audio to my very own websites. I'm going to take you through the process using a very simple little program called Web Audio Plus. It has everything you possibly need to record audio, create the audio files, get them ready for your website, and even to embed the actual code on your page, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. There's basically five simple steps. So let's take a look at it. First step is to select a recording device or file. So there's two options. You can use Web Audio Plus to record new audio, or you can simply load an existing file. We're actually going to record some audio for this example. So we'll start by clicking on Record Sound, then clicking Next. This shows us the record screen. All we need to do once we are at the record screen is simply click on the record button and record our audio. So here we go. Recording audio for your website can be really, really simple. Using a program like Web Audio Plus allows you to record the audio, prepare it for your website, and actually get it on to your website. We're going to take you through the process and show you exactly how. Now you need to select the various quality here as well, low, medium, high, etc. I choose medium since the higher quality that you go, the larger the file, and the longer it'll take to download, which may result in the people having to, your visitor having to wait to actually listen to the audio. So I choose medium quality. That seems to work fine for me. Once we've recorded, you can click on the play button to have a listen to it and make sure that it worked properly. Once you've done that, click on the next button. Here's where you get to select the various play buttons and colors for them. So in this particular case, I'm going to choose this set here and then choose blue. Now if all I want is a play and stop button, I just simply select here. And we have just a play button. In this case, I want to play, pause and stop. Then we click on next. This gets really simple. We can select the width of the actual buttons here. So the total width I want is 135 pixels. The height is automatically set. So this is how easy it becomes. We simply click on copy HTML text. Then we select where we want the file saved to. Because basically Web Audio Plus will create a special SWF file that we'll upload to the website. So we select the folder where you want it saved and then simply click on Make. As you can see, it only took a second there to make the actual file itself. We can test it by clicking on Run Player, which opens up a small screen, and it's exactly what you'll see on the website, and just hit the Play button. You can click on Pause and Stop to stop it, then close it. Now we'll go to the second part. Remember earlier when we clicked on Copy HTML Code? Well, now we're going to paste that HTML code into our website. I'll show you how. So here we are. We've just opened up Dreamweaver, and I want to insert some audio on my page right here. I want to take you through the whole process that I actually use. First thing we're going to do is create a table. In this table, I want two rows and two columns, with a padding of five pixels. And we click OK. So we've created a basic form to put our actual audio in. I'll show you why we've done it in a moment. Next, I'm going to join these two cells here, because this is where we're going to actually place some text. So we select the actual cells, holding the control key, 
and then selecting each one of them individually. Then we click the Merge Cell button. That's become one cell, quick and easy. And next, I'm going to insert an image. Click on the image icon, find the image that I'm looking for, preview it, and click OK. That's now inserted the image for me. Now, as you can see, it's moved the actual cell across here a little bit. So we're going to resize this back to the original size. Next, place our mouse in the cell beneath the picture. Then we'll switch to code view. Highlight it. And then press Ctrl V to paste in the actual code that we copied earlier. Now once you've pasted in your code, one of the things you'll need to do is to change the file location. Let me explain. We'll switch back to design view. We'll click on the flash icon down here and you'll see that the file location is on our C drive. Now when this page actually goes live, obviously it's not going to collect the file off our C drive but off the web server. So here's what we need to do. We simply click on the flash icon then the little find file icon right here. Drag it across to where the actual file is located. In this case it's in audio test. As you can see it selected the location perfectly there. We're now ready to preview the actual file. Press F12 to preview the file. It asks us if we want to save changes. We say yes. It'll open up a browser. We scroll down and we can see the flash files are there. And simply press play to listen to the actual audio. When you're done, simply press stop. That's how easy it is to put audio on your website. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you think you're ready to add audio to your website, then simply follow the link below and get your own copy of Web Audio Plus. Looking forward to the next time I speak with you and show you some more great web design and Dreamweaver tips.